So if you can in some way stop the operator control version from existing through exposed or rooting or something like that, I am 100% sure that DJI Fly's remote ID will be broken. I am 100% sure that DJI Fly's remote ID will be broken. Hello, DJI. I think I know why your remote ID is broken. After the previous video, Cameron had an idea of trying tinfoil and doing some magic on the front side. For this scenario, we use Screen SCPI from the Android Developer Tools to control the state for location services. If you turn off location services, wrap the device in tinfoil, and then restart it, then turn on location services, Android does not cache any location and there's nothing available for DJI Fly to use. The only thing that needs to be done is to set DJI Fly to always open when you're using the phone so the app opens up right away. Here's the results of testing. So I've put an open Android OSM and this is gonna either be amazing or terrible. Here we go. There we go, we have a... And the operator payload is empty. So, okay. All right. So this doesn't mean that Tim Fall is the best or that cameraman is the best. He was right, but it was the process. So the process is the, as follows, right? Restart your device with location services off in airplane mode. Use a computer to enable location services while it's already wrapped in tinfoil. You can keep it charged up in your car and you have to make sure that you have set DJI Fly so that when you plug in the uh, controller, it's always triggering DJI Fly. Um, that's pretty effective actually. Um, obviously, you know, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, if somebody comes upon you flying the Avada or the Air 2S with this beauty, but you know, should be interesting. All right, that's fair enough.